YouTube, what's good? It's your boy, Hold It Down, Jay, man. Listen, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. You already know what it is. Today, I'm gonna got y'all a little surprise, man. I know I was just gonna teach y'all just about Linux, but guess what? Now we getting into the AWS cloud infrastructure. Yeah, I'm like that. So now, I'm gonna teach y'all two different things. You're gonna learn how to do Linux, and you're gonna learn how to get inside that cloud domain. Because the reason why they correspond with each other is because when you build a... Uh, cloud or virtual machine inside the cloud domain you can use linux inside of it too how you like that and guess what it's still free i told you i got your back let's do what they said you couldn't reason why cloud is specifically so important is this man it's the future back in the day you know they used to rent out rack space for like three to five years right? and then they'll sign they'll try to rape them and be like yo three to five year contract for the stuff three to five years come along and then boom they stuck spent thousands of dollars the benefit of the cloud now is that the cloud gives you the access to make a machine virtual machine instantly in a matter of second but how does this work out we're going to get into it. So AWS was founded in 2003. The current CEO of Amazon right now is uh, Andy Jazzy. I'm not going to give you a whole history, but over the years, they developed it. Came out good. You know, it was a successful infrastructure. Amazon owns over 51% of the cloud infrastructure, right? And then comes Microsoft and then Google and, you know, all the other companies, right? Um, One thing I will say, though. I wanted to teach Azure, which I probably will in the future, but the reason why they're Amazon is because my job is to help y'all, right? Amazon, they have way more jobs. Like, they whooping ass. I'm sorry, but when it comes to this cloud domain, Amazon whoop your ass, all right? <laughs> more cloud domain brings up more jobs and more opportunity. I don't want to just teach y'all Google and it's only five jobs on the market. But on another note, I want y'all to be advised. I don't expect you to have experience for this, all right? You, if you got experience, you professional, you ain't cut for this. This for the people who really need to know the bare minimums and trying to work their way up. You can even go to Cloud Practitioner, review that, and then come holler at me too if you feel like it. But we're gonna get you right for the night. A lot of y'all probably wondering, well, how does this work? How do you make a virtual machine if it's physically not hit? I got the answers to that. You know that. So listen, so Amazon, they have different buildings called data centers, right? These data centers, they contain physical hardware. They buy them in bulk, right? They buy these servers in bulk, and then they put them inside their data centers. The data centers then create what we know as virtual machines. All right, so boom, you got these small little data centers over here, data centers, they're nearby each other. You have one availability zone. All right. So let's say that one's there, and then in another location, you got these data centers over here, right? And we make another availability zone. Cool. Now since they're on the same side of town, feel me? All one becomes a region. You see what I'm saying? Because we started from the ground up, y'all. Look at this. Data centers. And one thing I want y'all to take into consideration is that um, availability zone can have 10. There's no limit to how many numbers that uh, availability zone I have so you know we got these right here boom now we got availability zone over here we got availability zone over here put it all together 
You got a region. All right, I'm gonna show y'all real quick how to make your AWS account. Go ahead, complete sign up. Go down to create new AWS account. And by the way, the website is aws.amazon.com. So create that. I'm gonna do hold it down J training at Gmail. Go ahead and put a little, little password in there. Cool. Account name, we're just gonna call it hold it down J training. Cool, security check, whatever. I'm a real one. I don't know what they're doing this for. Don't make no sense. Alright, so cool. I don't want to save it right now. Alright, we're just using that personal for our own project. Alright, read and agreed. Come on now, dog. And then, so listen. Come on, man. I know what you're thinking. Cheap I did say that. Just a dollar. If you can buy Jordans, you can use a dollar. But listen, it's damn near free. So just go ahead and put your little credit card information in there, right? Alright, so now I want you to confirm your identity. We'll send you a little multi fact authentication. Get you a little code on your phone. Keep it free. Don't don't go crazy. Why you need this? Alright, you here to learn. Keep it free. Stop playing with me, yo. Complete sign up. Guess what? You just created a whole AWS account. Man, the things you can do with this. I made my whole website, my whole platform for free, man. On this. All right, so boom. You learned how to make an account today. I gave y'all availability zones. I told y'all what a region was, what data centers was. What content delivery network was AWS a little sprinkle of a history now you, you got the basic foundational knowledge right to get you to that certified solutions architect certification associate I don't know if I said associate or not but it's cool but listen I'm gonna let y'all next week I got things to do you know what I mean <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all later